Hello, this is a short introduction to Power from Nature. I'm Joachim Bongers and I'm gonna tell you what a microbiofuel cell is and how to make one. Microbiofuel cells, also called MFCs, are fuel cells that are powered by bacteria. These bacteria eat biomass and generate power. Most of our power uses comes from biomass. Biomass is being created by the power of the sun through photosynthesis. There are a few tricks needed to convert biomass into electricity, but microbiofuel cells skip them all. A few examples for usage of a microbiofuel cell. You can put autonomous robots or sensors in places where electricity is hard to get. We could generate a lot of power from our own biomass with a few upgrades in the infrastructure. You could possibly charge your phone in an upgraded festival toilet. Real biological solar panels that generate all day long electricity combined with social infrastructures like bus stops or power small devices just like this radio. Turn on the light next to your bed in the evening or upscale it for outdoor use. Hydrogen gas is made super efficient combined with a microbiofuel cell. Biological compounds can be made and that will speed up the process to make medicine. It can make fresh water from seawater also. And with this technology, sure we can make Africa green again. Now, how does it work? A microbiofuel cell. The power of the sun has been collected by the plants. By the process of photosynthesis, it's been turned into biomass. In the form of sugar, or glucose, or other types of biomass. Biomass is being put into the ground by roots of the plants, or just by decaying plants. Biomass is food for the bacteria. Just like humans, we turn it into energy. In this process, an electron and a proton is released. So a simple short version is that the sun is being collected by the plants, they turn it into biomass, the biomass is getting into the ground, bacteria eat it as food, an electron and a proton is released. Free electron we can collect at the end node. And on the right you can see how the formula goes. A colony of bacteria will form a biofilm at the anode because they like to dump an electron. Bacteria are quite clever, they even use nanowires to distribute the electron. Or they even use little shuttle packages so they can distribute the electron from distance. And to make the reaction complete, the electron goes to the user, back to the cathode, meets up with the oxygen and the proton to form water again. Here you can see the effective voltage what a microbiofuel cell can make. But down the road there are some obstacles that will lose you some energy. And for the maximum power point voltage versus the amperage, you can find a sweet spot where the microbiofuel cell will generate the most power. My results were 12 microwatts for my plant microbiofuel cell. But these days 25 watts per cubic meter is the standard. How to make your own microbiofuel cell? Therefore, you need a, this schematic. Here you can see what it is. On the left, we have an anaerobic chamber, and on the right, we have an aerobic chamber. In between, we have a membrane. This is what you need for a microbiofuel cell. Most stuff you already have, or otherwise, you can buy it in the store. Step one you need two electrodes. With overhead sheets, you can make those electrodes. And therefore, you need some graphite powder. Polish the graphite on the plastic with a paper towel, which can be done very fast. And you will end up with an electrode that is biological and chemical stable. Measure the resistance of the electrode, everything under 300 ohm is good. Step 2. Find yourself a container to build a microbiofuel cell in, and it needs to be watertight. Now cut up your electrode into the right shape for the container. It's easy to cut a little bit of extension that will reach out from the bottom to the top. And that you need to insulate from the environment, so I just taped it. This is how the end result looks like. Nicely insulated. Now with a little bit of tape on the need of the electrode, it will stick nice to the container on the bottom. And to separate anaerobic and aerobic chamber from each other, I use a pen. Proto exchange membranes are expensive, so I use this cup as a membrane. Make small cuts in the bottom and place this cup when you're finished in the container. 
Activated carbon is a nice home for bacteria and it's also conductive, so it will help you to generate more power. This will give a nice home for the bacteria. Place the activated carbon on the side of the cup in the middle. And now you need some soil. You can use a lot of types of soils, but when you use a little bit of compost mixed between it, it will do wonders. Put an extra cup of water into the center cup so it will stay fit and firmly when you're gonna put ground in it. Be prepared, things can get messy, so choose your place wisely. Fill the soil up until you're finished and then you can pull out the extra beaker from the center. Now it's almost finished, but a cathode is still missing. Cut out an extra cathode and place it in like this. Now add some water, not so much, just get it wet, not soaked. Now add some extra biological solar panels into your system that will generate extra biomass for your bacteria. And this is how to create a plant microbial fuel cell. Don't worry when you measure for the first time your microbial fuel cell, there's still some oxygen in the soil. When you measure a few days later, the oxygen will be gone. And here you can see a positive voltage reading. The conclusion is that we can generate with nature our own energy with stuff we already own. This new form of energy can be used by everybody and is free for the grabbing and gives us opportunity for solutions for our daily problems that we still need to solve or in the future because we cannot go on like we do today. I dare you to break my record. My record is 650 millivolt for my plant microbiofuel cell. But that's for next time, where I will show you some gadgets I can turn up with the power of plants and microbes. If you have comments or questions, here's how to reach me. So, power to the people and thanks for watching!